BRICS leaders have tasked their finance ministers and central bank governors to consider the issue of local currencies, payment instruments, and platforms. Единую валюту никто сейчас не говорит. По крайней мере, сейчас все внимание сосредоточено на поиске путей обеспечения нашей взаимной торговли. Despite the hype that had been built up around the world, especially on social networks, in the months and weeks leading to the 15th BRICS Heads of State Summit that was held in South Africa regarding a possibility of BRICS members launching their own currency as their buffer against the alleged weaponization of the dollar by the United States in fighting its geopolitical battles, one thing that became apparent upon conclusion of that summit was that the BRICS currency talk was just hot air and out of the touch of reality. We say this because throughout the summit, the BRICS currency agenda wasn't given much emphasis or the weight that the world was anticipating to witness, and in end, the chairman of the summit, that is President Cyril Ramaphosa of South Africa had just a few words to summarize their take on the same. We have noted that there is global momentum for the use of local currencies, alternative financial arrangements, and alternative payment systems. As BRICS, we are ready to explore opportunities for improving the stability, reliability, and fairness of the global financial architecture. In this regard, BRICS leaders have tasked their finance ministers and central bank governors as appropriate to consider the issue of local currencies payment instruments and platforms and to report back to the BRICS leaders by the next summit. His failure to say anything about creation of a new BRICS currency basically implied that BRICS members were not really interested in the creation of that currency, the way it had been hyped by BRICS fanatics. However, his remarks in that statement which summarized the outcomes of the summit confirmed that BRICS members are looking for or rather working on mechanisms that will reduce the dependence on the US dollar in their cross-border trade settlements. The mechanisms, which are their version of the much-talked-about de-dollarization being, agreements for settling of cross-border trades in local currencies, instead of doing so, in the US dollar which has lately been on limited supply in most countries. But if you have been following this subject closely, Perhaps the failure by BRICS heads of state to mention any plans relating to creation of a common currency didn't come as a surprise. Two months prior to that summit, and when the internet was awash with all sorts of speculations of how a new BRICS currency was soon going to topple the US dollar as the world's reserve currency, the Indian Foreign Affairs Minister Subramaniam Jayshankar was the first top official within BRICS to dismiss the speculations that there are plans for creation of a new currency within the bloc. The foreign minister openly said that the BRICS common currency talk was just in the media, and not within BRICS, and that BRICS members will continue to trade in local currencies, as they work on strengthening them, instead of seeking to create a common currency. There is no idea of a BRICS currency, if I understood your point rightly, that currencies to my mind will remain very much a national, uh, national issue for a long time to come. Then as the BRICS summit was underway in Johannesburg, the Russian Foreign Affairs Minister Sergei Lavrov admitted that creation of a BRICS currency wasn't of top priority or subject of discussion among member heads of state. Единую валюту никто сейчас не говорит. По крайней мере, сейчас все внимание сосредоточено на поиске путей обеспечения нашей взаимной торговли, взаимных экономических проектов, инвестиций, таким образом, чтобы не зависеть от системы his sentiments were even echoed by the Russian President Vladimir Putin himself, who admitted that, we won't be seeing a BRICS currency any soon. Despite being a vocal proponent of de-dollarization mechanisms, courtesy of Western sanctions imposed on Russia, in the aftermath of its invasion of Ukraine, President Putin admitted during the summit that, the BRICS currency idea is something that might not be happening any soon. That, the idea is quite a difficult issue to undertake or implement as of now, but he was hoping that the bloc will find a way to effectively approach the same in the coming future. 
среди которых я выделил бы, выделил бы конечно, вопросы на расчетной валюты единой. Это сложный вопрос, но мы так или иначе будем двигаться по решению этих, этих проблем. So to understand why BRICS members have decided to avoid taking that path of trying to create a new common currency that will challenge the US dollar in international trade settlements, we have highlighted the following three main reasons. Number one, a clear absence of stability, wide acceptance and widespread use of the BRICS currency, should it be launched. Establishing an international currency, like a BRICS currency for that matter, requires stability, acceptance and widespread use. That is, a stable store of value, wide acceptance, easy convertibility, association with major economies, a stable political system, trust, confidence, liquidity as well as a robust financial infrastructure to guarantee the same. The BRICS currency that was to be launched after the Johannesburg summit lacks all those prerequisites, and that is why it wasn't even part of the agenda of the summit. Number two, lack of coordination in monetary, fiscal, financial and banking policies, as well as lack of coordination for managing economic indicators such as inflation, interest rates, exchange rate and capital account convertibility. As it stands today, and with the new development bank aside, BRICS hasn't put in place a financial infrastructure that will deal with all those international currency-related issues and that's why the currency couldn't be launched. Number 3. Uncertainties regarding what the future holds. Today, the BRICS currency idea is being pushed by Vladimir Putin because of the sanctions, but what happens tomorrow when Putin is not in power, and a new head of state, who has good relations with the West is in power in Russia, and isn't trying to slay the US dollar? Again, there are uncertainties regarding BRICS membership, with possibilities that some members might at one point in the coming future opt out of the bloc, and should just a single member, like India which has close ties with the United States, exit from BRICS, when a common currency is in place, the economic repercussions of such a move would be catastrophic, and that's perhaps one of the top reasons why the members avoided putting in place mechanisms to launch the currency. In conclusion, I bet we will all agree that creation, or rather realization of a BRICS currency is like a distant dream, due to the significant socio-economic differences within the bloc, and therefore it's high time we stopped thinking that it will be realized any soon. Anyway, do you believe that, that dream will be realized someday in the near future or coming decade? Leave your thoughts on this in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe before leaving.